Hi, Barry Thompson from BoatMags.com. This is the Buccaneer 565 Classic. All the workable areas are all gel coated, so there's no timber in the boat as such. It's got a big boat feel about it, nice and big and open, so you get that great feeling of space. It's got 115 to 150 horsepower outboards. We've got a 150 here, Yamaha. It's good for about 50 miles an hour. The one thing I like about the boat that it's built with three main moulds. You've got the hull mould, the inner liner, and the deck mould. So three functional moulds with a few other small ones thrown in as well. Underneath the floor, foam filled buoyancy. Fuel tank, 160 litre down the centre with storage behind. So I think we have a look through the boat and you can see why it's such a good family boat. And since they released this model, and it like the predecessor, the 550, it's remained as one of their biggest selling boats. Okay, one thing I like about the 565 Classic is the attention to detail that's gone into the, the fascia here. Got the invitation walnut behind the instruments, that's an option. Got an Eagle 640 fish finder here, but there's room for about a nine inch multifunction display. Controls for your quick windlass, your electro tab. Down here, got an Eagle VHF. The seating in here is standard. What you're seeing here is a standard uh, bucket seat for the helm. This has got an optional four and a half slider and opposite that, the back-to-backs. And the, quite a few of these boats go out with twin bucket seats as well, which really opens up the back area of the boat. Seat here, so it gives you a seating for, for five, but if you're fishing and you want the space, just whip that out and you can stand right back in the corner for fishing. Also right beside the ladder, so easy access. This has got huge space for boat this size. Big opening here, so it's not intrusive. You can put a porta potty under here if you want to, and you can put a plumbed in electric toilet as well. The storage under both sides, all the nice little lined areas. Add the infill and put two people in here quite comfortably. And one thing you notice on the 565 Classic, which you don't see on a lot of glass boats these days, is the large windscreens around, not just on the side, but on, on the front here. Just something a little bit different and it sort of sets the boat off a little bit. It makes it a little, little bit traditional. The transom of the Classic is very functional. It's laid out to be, to be used, is the simplest way of putting it. The seat here with storage underneath. This unclips access to the battery and the cutoff switch. We've got the optional bait board with a come that attaches to the ski pole. This is the uh, bimini, it's an optional bimini, stainless steel, got rocket launcher on it. And the whole thing hinges and folds down. So if you've uh, got a bit of problem with your garaging, you don't have to worry about it. So overall, as Buccaneer wanted to produce this boat, it's a good wholesome family cabin runabout. It does the job perfectly. It's gonna be a big seller, I think, for a long time yet.